I am Chris. I have Saru before me, and this is my friend Luke. Hey guys, Chris and I became friends back in high school. Now, typical teenage fun is a lot more difficult when your friend's in a wheelchair. Because of my majestic stature and bulging biceps, our friendship was able to go way past just saying hi as we saw each other in the halls at school. We spent time together. I can lift him up out of his chair, load the chair in the back of my truck, and carry him up and down stairs. When his arms and legs didn't work for him, mine did. Luke and I have been best friends for eight years. He treats me like a normal person. That's something as a handicapped person that I don't get to experience very often, so that's why we're really our best friends. Although Chris's disability limits him physically, there is no limit in the joy he feels with the things he gets to do with a little help from his friends. Now, I don't know anybody with a more positive attitude than my friend Chris. I really don't. He's always smiling and he's always laughing at the simplest things. And I think that's because he tends to appreciate everything a little more. Since high school, Chris has been living in a group home. And I can remember talking to him on the phone one evening. And I could tell that he wanted to do something, but I was unable to get out there at the time. So I suggested that he do something there that he enjoys. And I asked him, I said, well, what do you like to do out there? And I'll never forget his answer to that question. He told me, well, I like to go outside. It's difficult being in a group home because I'm the only one that has, does not have a mental disability. It's hard to have conversations. So I'm usually in my room on dating websites trying to find a girlfriend or on Facebook. When I do get to chance to do something outside of the group home, it's exciting. When Chris told me he likes to go outside, it really took me by surprise. I guess I never really appreciated something as simple as just being able to go outside. I later learned that Chris has never gone on a vacation. And out of curiosity, I asked him, if you could take a vacation, where would you want to go? Florida. He said Florida. Now, I would love to be able to take Chris on his first vacation to Florida, but my bank account won't allow me to do what my heart wants to do. And that's when I remembered GoFundMe.com. I thought, how many friends would it take to make this possible? So here we are hoping to find out. Now we are extremely excited because we thought of a way where everybody who makes this possible can experience the vacation with Chris. I set up a Facebook page called Vacation with Chris, where we plan to continuously post photos and videos of the entire trip as it happens. Now we'd like to take this trip at the beginning of August, which would allow Chris to spend his next birthday on the beach. Now the more people who know and the more people who care, the more likely we are to make this happen. So we wanna say thank you to everybody who shares this on their Facebook page and to everybody who helps support this once in a lifetime opportunity. Thank you everybody.